Shalom. First and foremost, all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Shalom to the elders and the Akim and the Akwatim that's out there seeking the Lord's face for real. I say Shalom. Okay? This is the book of 1 John, chapter 4, and verse 20. If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For the loveth, for, for he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love God, whom he have not seen? All right. What's the second highest commandment? Loving your brother. All right. Let me get one more scripture here. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 12 and verse 9. It says, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities than the power of Hamashiach may that or Salakia that the power of Hamashiach may rest upon me. Okay, so it's whatever happened, whatever went on. You know, my infirmities right now is a, is like a righteous indignation, but also my infirmities is also many stresses that come with this life here in Babylon, the Great. All right. Uh, one more scripture real quick before I get going here. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 13. It says, let brotherly love continue. Brotherly love is so important. What's the second highest commandment? Okay, uh, let me jump down to six. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. So recently I've been blasphemed, slandered, libeled, uh, threatened. My life been threatened. You know what I mean? I'm talking about watch your back. You know, that's, that's madness, man. How can I be somebody's brother one day? Or how can I be somebody's brother for two years and then try to respectfully bow out of a camp? Now I'm an enemy, a heathen, a devil. But that's all right. Y'all can call me a devil. Y'all showing yourselves to be the scribes and the Pharisees. They call you Yahweh a devil, man. I, I was a little blip of righteousness for what it's worth. I know it's filthy rags, but I was a little blip of righteousness in your world, man. I was, I am an agent. I have a confession. I am an agent. I'm an agent of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And he put me into a fire and then he pulled me out. And I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna get into it. You know what I mean? I try to respectfully bow out of the camp. And those were my exact words. I said, I would like to respectfully bow out of the camp. Okay? Now all of a sudden I'm a devil and a liar. And what else? What else? Dirty. Uh, Bart Simpson looking I Karumba. A witch. Are you kidding me, man? I'm going to get into all this, man. Wickedness will be exposed right here today. All right? Let's see. So, the branch is Baltimore. You know, I was in that camp two years I showed up down in the harbor one day and stayed diligent about going down next thing you know I'm on the camera next thing you know I'm on the line I'm in the camp okay so these brothers I don't I, I hope everybody's seen the video as hard as it was to watch it was disgusting you know the the tongue is a fiery member that that none can tame that means you got to stay on top of it. You got to stay on top of it. That's why they call at the circus, they call a lion tamer, a lion tamer. You know, he, he didn't just tame the lion. He has to keep on taming the lion in front of everybody. And that's what makes the spectacle. Your tongue is a fiery member. You had to keep taming it. You had to stay on top of it. Because next thing you know, you breaking out the spirit and you going and you slandering your brother, blaspheming your brother, speaking ill of your brother. And all of this hate, man, all this hate. Um, well, let me just let me just start breaking down their two and a half hours of their philandering and their pride and their vanity. Well, actually, hold up. I want to start out first with an exhortation. All right. The newest brother, Mata, very colorful brother, artistic. His art is awesome. He making his own garments. His garments is he a cool, cool guy. It was a blessing to meet him. Um, next up, uh, Azariah, down in the branches, Florida. Hey, hey uh, we had 
many of your conversations chopping it up about our experiences you know we had about what we was doing with rap and you know that brother got a lot of knowledge on uh the laws and how the laws work and, and you know sovereignty and the constitution and that stuff i would have loved to keep building with that brother uh lord will hey we'll see what happens um to hire delicate brother firm brother though strong ain't playing no games kind of brother you know i love building with him man we would have like hour-long conversations about the scriptures and our experiences you know dreams things like that it was it was awesome uh up next Nabakala, quiet brother cool brother humble like to move like to dance a little bit you know what i mean i've always got some music going on in his head um uh, love to laugh brother got a big hearty laugh right I laughed so hard with him one day, it felt like these glands back here on the back of your head. It felt like them thing, them joints was about to explode. I was I was laughing so hard with him. Uh, next up, uh, Masha, yo, character so outgoing he can strike up a conversation with anybody. Your brother got a lot of gifts gifts of the gab. Um, the elder amongst us, um, Mazabakia, warm brother, big heart type of brother you salute him you get that embrace man you feel his warmth and you feel his love brothers need that man um uh karataza well traveled vast experience lived in many places got a lot of good stories to share physically able brother we wrestled around a couple times you know he, he ain't no punk <laughs> he a beast yo uh you call but like uh he like uh he like a rhinoceros on fire with the precepts. I mean, he's just boom, 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 boom busting them all out, okay? Mazabakia precept, precept game real tight too, all right? Now, with that out the way, you know, I want to get into all this slander and libel that they're guilty of, all right? So they're talking about my confidence on the first day that I came down, right? Look at me. I'm scattered as they get. Okay? Looking like our evil twin brother. All right? So they they're they're, they're questioning my confidence that day. Yeah, I was a little nervous, man. I don't know how what reaction I'm going to get. Everybody down there saying death to the white man. All right? And then uh must have been some people on the comment board defending me. You call was like Start sniping the Mazariah, start sniping the Mazariah. And yo, for your information, like I had to wake up 4 a.m. the next morning. I'm not up on the edge of my bedside watching that garbage, man. I knew what was coming. I didn't think it was gonna be nothing like that, though. Y'all lying on me and all this stuff. I took some notes, man. It, I, don't even, I didn't just sit down and watch this in just one session either. Two and a half hours, man. All right, so start sniping. So then they want to start out with the highest testimony, all right? <clears throat> now, he said I asked for his birthday, which I did ask for his birthday. And the brother called me one day saying, yo, when these different seasons come around, I get these different spirits around me. I can start going on to, you know, his father, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I asked him, I was like, what's your birthday? Because I was trying to relate it to like, you know, the a zodiac, the, the stars and the signs. Not that I'm worshiping the stars and the signs, there's information there, man. It used to be our information, okay? So he was a little sketched out that I asked, even asked him about his birthday. So he told me, I don't, even, I don't even remember what it was, but it was like tension in the air. So I was like, all right, he was like, why are you asking me about my birthday? You know, whatever, I told him this, he told me. And then just to break the tension in there, I was like, what's your social security number? And he was like, why? And he got, he took it, he took it hard, yo. Like I said, he's a delicate brother, he firm. He ain't playing no games kind of brother, all right? And I learned a valuable lesson from that because me and that brother was building for months before that happened. And then, you know, what I got out of that is some of the sheep, some of our people are delicate. And you got to handle sheep delicately, okay? And that was a hard lesson to learn. I lamented over that, you know? I love that brother. Still love that brother. I feel like he under some mind control right now from the wicked devils that are, that are the heads of this camp, three heads of this camp, Karatnaza, or Mazabakya, Karatnaza, and Yakoba. 
three heads. Three heads. Okay? Beasts have three heads. Beasts have multiple heads. All right? And legit, like, if I was if I was the leader of a camp, I would not consider myself a head. I'd be like, everybody's head, you're hell shy. I might consider myself the heart pumping the life into the... Okay? And uh, they want to rebuke me about uh, the brother uh, Yahi out in Chicago. Uh, children of Israel out here. Shalom to you, brother Yahi. You taught me a lot, showed me a lot. The, the numbers don't lie. Okay? So he consider himself to be King David. And I see them using him as King David in the in the ceremony in the ritual ceremonies that the wicked run. All right. Uh, another thing about uh, the Tahaya brought out was like I was trying to keep him from the rest of the Akium, bruh. Like the Akium knew about you the whole time. The Akium knew that I'm in communications with you the whole time. Plus, my man, y'all geniuses. Y'all got your email up on the YouTube. High Life or, or, or Straight Way or whatever it is now. So how am I gatekeeping? All right? And let me jump back to the social security number real quick, all right? I don't know if y'all know this, but Esau gave you your social security number. Esau already got your social security number. If I'm an agent, FBI, CIA, I already got your social security number. But like I said, I am an agent, but I'm an agent to Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. All right? All right, and then they want to talk about, you know, where I was before I came into truth, all right? Pumped up on patriotism, voting for Trump, thinking Trump was going to clean things up, and we was going to, you know, be back in a constitutional kind of republic. And, you know, I explained to them where I was at, how I was feeling, my mental state. Yeah, I was relying on myself and my guns and the Constitution and stored food and this and that. Then as I started to realize... It's not about anything carnal that's going to deliver you. All right. So, like, I know Esau blessing the sword. I, nobody ever going to have enough bullets to fight against that. Ain't nobody never going to have a big enough weapon to fight against that. You're going to get destroyed going out like that. That's carnal. And that will lead you to death. All right. Why? why for two hours and 30 minutes, y'all just barking like some dogs, man. All right, talking about I'm trying to get their prints on all my guns, man. Like, that, look, these are these are deep things that, you know, you don't share with just anybody, all right? You put me on blast on in front of the whole world, man. But y'all do what you want, you know? <clears throat> you just showed yourselves to be fools, man. All right? Talking about I'm trying to get your prints on my my guns, man. Come on, man. And then it got to a certain point where you, you asking me, hey, can we go mess with your guns? I'm like, nah, you know, I... No, you know what, what, the, what? That's carnal, bro. You getting too carried? I saw you was you, you. I saw the carnality in you about it. You was getting carried away, man. Talking about when you go to the range and this and that. I'm like, I don't even want to be around no violence and no nothing, no explosions, no nothing, man. All right, all right. Then we jumped to Karataza and the story that I told him about my grandfather, which I never met. My grandfather was killed back in like '78. And his body was found floating in the, in the harbor around Hull Point because he had been a key witness or somebody that had the evidence against a, a Catholic organization that was doing like charity embezzlement or, or tax fraud or something. Trial started up. He popped up dead. And he had a family. Ain't it a curse that the Israelite fathers would leave the family? Well, 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 Esau took him out the picture, okay? But let me just straighten up that story, that story about that fishing story that I told you, okay? While I was sharing my life experience with you, you know, confiding in my, my brother, who I thought was my brother, right? So here's how that story goes, okay? My father was like 10, 12 years old or something like that, and he was on the end of a pier fishing with his sister, and his father, which would be my grandfather, right? And my people came here from Ireland in 1860, mind you, all right? During the whole potato famine thing. So, um, they're trying to teach my aunt, which was my father's sister, how to put the, the hook into the worm. 
And she's sitting there struggling with it, struggling with it. And my father says, you're doing it like a nigga. My grandfather took her up and smacked the fire out his cheek. And my father said that's the only time that his father ever struck him for dropping an N-bomb. And you guys want to rail me about you dropping the N-bomb? I mean, you go across America, bro. There's so-called white people, Jake or, or not, that are using that word in their common language. And, and, and people want to get on my comment board talking about your fake Ebonics accent is not fooling nobody. Bro, this is where I grew up, man. Are you kidding me? I've been making rap music since 2004, 2002 or something like that. But was I doing that so that I could prove to you that I was a Jake now? No, nah, man, I had no idea that I was a Jake or even what that meant. You know, I'm reading through the Bible in my youth, in my younger days before the truth. And I'm like, Israel, 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 Israel. I'm just thinking of the Jews over in the land right now, you know, with the little curls and some schmutz, you know, lots of that, man. All right. So I was saying that to you to show you the spirit of my grandfather was not playing that prejudice card. And he, he, he put it down on my father with the iron rod. All right. You know, all right, Karatza. So you talk, you got on here and said, <laughs> you said that I said, when the military comes to my door with the chip and the vaccine, I'm going to execute my family and myself. That's not how it went, bruh. Bruh. Okay. I was having some trouble, man. My faith was wavering. I was trying to confide in a brother real quick to try to get a little boost, right? So I said, you know, if this hits the fan and this scenario happens, am I going to have the kind of faith that Abraham had when he was going to sacrifice Isaac? Because I'm thinking in my mind, like, how is this thing going to play out? You know, obviously a brother's faith is wavering. You know, I was fearing the, I was fearing the imaginations of, of that rather than the Lord. Okay. Since then, I'm built, I've been building up, regardless of, you know, whether brothers want to help me out with that. The brother just said, well, hey, hey, Abraham was getting ready to, to sacrifice Isaac. And I said, hey, maybe you had a full belly. You know, it was, it was hard to really, you know, digest and actually try to help your brother. If you even was my brother the whole time, like, what were some of your unholy conversations you was having when I wasn't around? You know? I loved you, brother. I loved all you brothers, man. I cannot believe you. I still love y'all. But what y'all did, man, was low. Blaspheme in my name. So I never said I was going to execute no damn body. I said, can I have the faith if that's what's put on me to do? All right? Uh, then you said I never was a brother. You said it out of your mouth. I never was a brother. So thou sayest. So I was confiding in you, right? This is 1 Corinthians it's lucky it's cold out here man it's april for april 2nd this is second or second corinthians chapter one three all right blessed be god even the father of our lord yahweh Hamashiach, the father of mercies and the god of all comfort who comforteth us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. So you was not executing, you was not executing the spirit of the Lord right there. All right. All right. And you're talking about you, how, we pick, we got so much flack when we took you in the camp. We took all this flack we took when we pulled you in the camp. And that for edification, shouldn't that have led to some kind of edification? Think about the flack I got. How are all people around me looking at me, man? You're not taking into consideration your brother's infirmities, man. Okay? All right? Mata. Now, come on. Come on now. We, we done chopped it up like twice, man. And that's it. You don't really know what's going on with me, man. But I see these brothers got into your head. And they said, you got to do this. We got to go hard on him. He cannot get away with this. Blah, say, blah, say, blah. Man, that's, that's vain pride and glory, man. But let's, let me get this real quick, all right? And when I bowed out the camp, it wasn't just because of tension between me, with me and Karat Design. I'm going to get into that, okay? Matter of fact, I'm going to get into it right now, all right? So they had been talking this thing about order, 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 
Yakalba is the first head. Karatna's out of second head. Maz is the third head. Okay, so I'm, I'm like, oh, okay, sure, yeah, I, I'm the last guy in the camp. So like, obviously, I, I'm I'm sixth on the totem pole. But thinking about it a little bit more, like we're supposed to be a body, and your house shy is supposed to be our head. So you think you wonder why I'm bucking up against the the leadership? Maybe because y'all are wicked, man. And maybe I've seen your sin fall out in the midst of the congregation, which I'm going to get into. And I'm going to get into a dream that the Lord put on me that night that I quit. Or try to respectfully bow out. You know, how you do that to a brother, man? Anyway. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. It was The reason why I left the camp wasn't just because tension with me and Karanazai. It wasn't because I, w I was put on the bench for seven weeks. I had been considering leaving, man. Because it, the demand that camp required of me was disturbing ba other balances of, of different areas of my life that I needed to get in order okay so let me get this real quick let me get this real quick this is uh, 1 Timothy 3 and 5 it says for if a man know not how to rule his own house how can he take care of the church of God okay so I needed to get some things in order because things got out of control because I was there were certain things that I was putting off in my life so that I could serve the church of God. And the balance was was getting upset and it was it was throwing my life off. Okay? I felt it coming down on me. And most of I was chastising me, man. And he chastised them who he loved, man. I was doing too much, you know, and I was drinking a lot. And then the most high chastised me, man. With, with 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 the wicked, which is his sword. Okay, I'm still dealing with it. But hey, I got warnings before the law came. Warnings before the law came. All right. So, and then I ignored the warnings, and then the hammer came down. All right. All right. Uh, but look at this. Check this out. So you guys talking about my woman ruling over me, bro. And this is just more proof that, you know, you guys are liars. So who's who's the actual devil here, man? All right, let's see here. This is Isaiah 3 and verse 9. They show the show of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given. So all the chastisement that you got got going on in your lives, man, like you gotta you gotta look, you gotta really analyze that, man. All right, continuing on. Verse 12, as for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which are led, they which led lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. So y'all, as my leaders, you know, you would ask me things like, Do you hate Edomites? And I would think about it, and I'd be like, Well, I hate the wicked. Okay, because the Lord actually has certain Edomites at peace with me. I can't hate them. They're at peace with me. You know, the Lord said that he would bless those that bless Israel and curse those that curse Israel. So them Edomites up in their high councils with their head of their crafty council, like, yeah, I hate them because they wicked. I have hatred for wicked jakes, man. And like I say, I I say I love you, bros, because like my heart is, is broke over this, man, because I can't, I, this, this came out of left field, man. I was a brother supposed to respectfully bow out the camp. They get demonized, threatened. They threatened to break my nose, Karat Nazar. I got the text. Mazabakia, you threatened me, bro. You, you can't you can't threaten me, bro. The Lord is with me. Who could be against me? Yeah, how will my power? Who could offend me? Okay, but you have offended me. I'm one of the Lord's little ones, man. It's your big mouths, man. Your big flaming tongues all over the place, man. All right, let's see what else we got over here. That I get sidetracked? Oh yeah. See, like I'm trying to balance this out and pray to the Lord. And look, 
My wife just not some demon, yo. She out here. She's my help me that the Lord gave me. And just being lazy and just chilling around. We got jobs, man. We work. We got two children, man. Running them all around. Tripping, man. And I like cooking. I like when I like my cooking. You know what I mean? So you can you can save all that, man. All right, let me continue on here. Women ruling over you. Oh yeah, Karadza, boy, you really forsook <laughs> the Most High when you said, "Kafas, your job was the effing lamb." You can't say that about the Passover lamb, man. You can't say that. All right. Well, let's see what's going on next here. Yeah, I had to take notes, man, because it's two hours and 30 minutes, bro. All right, Mazabakia. I don't even know really what was the substance of whatever you had to say, bro, but you you was you was suspecting me the whole time, blase, blah. I mean, you don't have no discernment at all. You looking at me just the way you look at every other white person. That's why y'all in the harbor talking about all you white people going into slavery. I'm standing there on the line. How does that make sense, man? With your rash and hasty judgments. All right, you're going to be judged with the same... You're going to be judged in front of the, the, the throne of the Lord with the same judgments you use down here. So you mistook some so-called white person for an Edomite and then judged them accordingly. Man, the Most High might just miss you. Oh, and this is just a heathen. Get him out of here. Put him down in there with the rest of the slaves. All right? Thy kingdom come. You know, nobody likes being down here in Babylon, man. And I'm not the kind of guy that's just going to be like death to America, but I will be like a bad baba because it's bigger than America, man. All right? And Maz, yo, you are so full of yourself with all your laughter. You know what? Let me get that. I'm talking about my girl was giving you the eyes, bro. She was suspect of y'all the whole time in your vibes. Concerned, yo. My mother was concerned. I was like, nah, these are my brothers. I love these brothers. But see, the most I put me in here for a purpose, I, I was his agent. And it's all going to come out. He showed me in a dream. All right. Let's see here. All right. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 4. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. You guys getting all that enjoyment over cursing me out and. You know, whatever, whatever you did for two hours and, and 30 minutes, you look like a, a table of uh, high school girls being mean to some other girl. They don't want to sit at the table no more. You know, because they was jealous or something. All right. And, and also, you know, I'm not just trying to tear y'all apart. I'm trying to get blood off my hands, too, at the same time, man. So when I'm all done, you know, there's going to be no blood on my hands. Y'all going to be looking like a, a damn... Uh, DMX album cover, all right? Uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 5, it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise man than for a man to hear the song of fools. So the whole time y'all just singing pride, vanity, pride, vanity. Hey, don't you come down here. Don't you come down around us. Ma's talking about come see me. I don't want to come see you. Y'all are disgusting to me right now. Verse 6, for the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. This also is vanity. Okay? You over there laughing. Ha, 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 ha. You can't get enough out of it, man. You're getting so much enjoyment out of breaking the second highest commandment. That's great, man. All right? Talking about my girl's giving you the eyes. Talking about my girl a witch, man. Y'all are tripping, man. Y'all are tripping, man. Talking about I'm a witch. Matter of fact, Tahaya said my picture that I, I made to bring to the Passover, which I forgot to bring out, he said that that was witchcraft. Well, I got it right here. Look at this. Look at this. Got the sun coming up over the mountain. The waters moved out of the way with the, with the land. Just like that. And look, talking about this is witchcraft, bro. Right here, that's my name in Hebrew. It says Exodus. Yasha Allah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, a menorah, and the branches, man. Which I don't even just clip that off of there. But I think y'all should change your name anyway. And I'm, I'm about to get into that. 
this is witchcraft, bro. This is witchcraft. This is the Exodus, bro. This is for Passover. This is where my spirit is, man. Not in ruling over, brothers, man. Put your wicked behinds, man. You need to clean yourselves up, honestly. I'm talking about I'm unclean. All your false accusations, man. And what was it? Azariah. Yo, on my day off playing a flute in the woods. You called me a pedophile, Azariah. You called me Pan, Azariah. Number one, it wasn't my day off. I wasn't out in the woods, but I'd be more than happy to go play a flute in the woods, man. What was the what was the natives doing with their flutes? Even up until this current day, man, the natives play their flutes outside. Tripping, man. Tripping. Shame. But I forgive y'all. Easy. I forgive y'all. We we'll keep going. All right. Uh, hour and fifty-six minutes in. Karaza, you threatened me. Okay, you threatened my life. Breaking somebody's nose can kill them. You talking about you want to break my nose, man? How carnal is that? Y'all just was just a wild pack of dogs in 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 that in that live, man. And I did not watch it that night. So, think I'm messing with the live? Think I'm messing with the live stream? Hey, yo! And what else happened, yo? The first one that you tried to make, eight minutes and twenty-three seconds long, right? It didn't even have any audio. So, you looking at that as like Satan messing with the stream? No, the Most High messing with it. I mean, you might not want to do this. You might not want to do this. But he had you do it. Because he used me as his agent right now to reveal you devils. All right. And let me just see. It was eight minutes and 23 seconds. The first one. Then you deleted it, put up another one. The audio still didn't work. A minute and a couple seconds in. But let's just see here. Strong's. G823. Atamos. Atamos means not properly, not able to cut divide because too small to be measured. Like a split second, an instant, indivisible, a moment of time. So all of this madness is so minuscule, bro. All this, you put all this energy in, into rebuking me and blaspheming me on a, on the predication of lies, man. You know, we got uh, a website just started up for tr transgender youths for dating uh you got uh damn iran getting ready to go to war you got the mark of the beast coming i mean you put all this energy in, in into your lies how does that make sense man and you know what i'm not even gonna get into the specifics of the passover because i feel like it's gonna be a waste of time but you know what the lord told me go hard man the lord told me go hard and this is why i'm bucking up against the leadership man because i found out how wicked you guys are and i saw the whole time all right so Passover, right? I'm in charge of cooking. Uh, so I'm, I'm out there doing it. I'm cranking it, man. Brought all My whole car was full of equipment. Had the brother to hire with me. So I'm doing my thing, right? We're waiting on uh, Maza Bacchiata and Yacaba to get back from up north. Yo, and why, why, why did you have to run up north, man? Rich just got by the seat. You don't think, you don't think that's, that's causing an imbalance? You don't think that's a false balance? Anyway. Uh, we're waiting on these brothers, right? And we're out, we're all standing out front of the place we was at in D.C. And I'm like, well, let's go in there and start getting things ready, right? So we all go in there, we start getting things ready. Karate's eyes outside with me. I'm, we're getting ready to pull the lamb off. Bros ain't still ain't there yet. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just leave this on here so everything stays warm. And, you know, I don't know if we're going to do ceremonial things first or whatever. But, uh, you know, we'll, I'll, we'll bring it in when, when they get here so it's nice and warm. Con, con, he said, right? So we go in, table's cleared off, brothers just kind of sitting around the table. I'm like, let's throw up a prayer of Thanksgiving. And uh, I, was, I was like, no. I'm like, what? What? How are you going to tell a brother to stop? Don't pray, you know? And he's like, all right, go ahead, man, do your thing. So I threw up a prayer of Thanksgiving, man. Thank God for his mercy, so on and so forth. Uh, uh, please continue to deliver the other two brothers here safely. So that happened, and you know we're just kind of chilling around the table, and I'm like, I'm like, let's let's start bringing down some precepts, you know? No. 
you know, get your precepts together for the lesson. I'm like, well, I mean, let's get in the spirit, man. Sun went down. Let's 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 do it, man. So he's like, all right, fine. So he goes out, calls the other two heads, and uh, comes back in and says, stop. So I'm like, so we can't read the scriptures? No, shut it down. Close my book, sat down. I was a little bit rubbed the wrong way, man. And uh, he goes outside, I go outside, you know, and, you know, uh, the rest is kind of accurate. And I don't know about things escalating to a physical level, but, you know, we was both a little bit vexed and there was a lot of tension in the air. All right. Let's see here. That's that. All right. Oh, the wickedness, man. And I, I should I, I should have known from the different things that I saw. But see, man's goings are of the Lord. He had me stay, stay, stay in there. He left me in the fire for a purpose, okay? So one day we're down there at camp. It's like one of the first times I was able to hold the camera. I wasn't on the line yet, right? So we're getting ready and like Maz is like checking out the women walking by. And you know, I thought that was kind of odd. I was like, these are men of the Lord, right? So Maz checking out the women walking by. And then he says, out of his mouth came, to one of the other brothers, I forget which one, maybe Masha. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe it was Masha. He was like, it's a trial by fire, you know, you gotta burn through them, see which one you like. And I was like, there was a couple brothers in between us, and I was like, yeah, don't twist the don't twist that scripture like that. He was like, I thought you was one of us. You know, I got all vexed about it. You know, I should have known then. But the most high left me in there for a purpose, man, because I was his agent. <laughs> okay. And you know, now that I'm thinking about this, there was more signs than just that, all right? Just a few weeks ago, Maz hops in the car, Karataza sitting in front of him. We all give a salute. Maz says to Karataza, can we get some girls tonight? Moment of silence, and then Karataza like, oh, we can get some drink, you know? And the Most High didn't let me see this until recently, just the last couple days, Tazawa. Shalom to you, Tazawa. Um, when he left the camp, he made a video. He was walking on his way to work. And I remember the video, but the Most High is only allowing me to remember these two things that he said. Karatnaza, back page, Karatnaza, back page, Karatnaza, back page. It kept, it kept ringing out in my mind. And I don't know what bros is up to now, but Maz, that was y'all's sin falling out in the midst of the congregation. And that's the reason why y'all are so mad at me right now. And y'all so uh, y'all was so uncomfortable with me, man. Because you guys weren't even being honest with me the whole time. You guys were hiding that kind of stuff, man. Yo, I, I was like, I, ugh, ugh, ugh. I had to repent, man. And I had to give all praises and to wad us up to the Lord for pulling me out. Okay? Correct is our back page. Correct is our back page. And I don't care how mad y'all get, man. Y'all already threatened me. Y'all already blasphemed me. I got nothing to, nothing, there's nothing else you could do, bro, than show up somewhere. But do what you want, man. This is a sharp rebuke. So let's see who can't take a rebuke. Get your carnal behinds, man. All right. So continuing on. Karatazai wanted to bring up the, the Halloween camp and the instance in the Halloween camp, all right? So 